Yeah, hi everyone. I hope you had a nice long winter break and did something fun and yeah, are ready for the new semester. My name is Sebastian Roschka and I'm an assistant professor of statistics working mainly on machine learning and deep learning. So I'm particularly uh, yeah, interested and excited about this class. Uh, it's about deep learning, as you may know, so and that's very uh, closely related to my research. So uh, in this brief um, yeah, video here, I just wanted to introduce yeah, myself and um, yeah, what we are going to talk about today. So maybe just as a quick icebreaker, so I actually literally spent some uh, a lot of time uh, over the winter break on the ice, uh, yeah, doing some cross-country skiing and enjoying um, Wisconsin and the landscape here. I really like yeah Wisconsin snow and stuff like that. So if you ever need a break from studying and want to go outside, there are lots of beautiful parks here, state parks, and also mostly it's not very crowded there. So it's actually a great time now yeah to hang out outside to do some exercises and have some fun next to studying. But um, yeah, back to back to the uh, lecture here or class. So. Um, Today I will mainly cover uh, yeah, a few topics related to how the class is organized. I will give you a brief overview of yeah, what to expect in this course, what topics we are going to cover, how we are going to talk to each other because yeah, it's all virtual and um, asynchronous. However, we will have uh, live um, office hours via Zoom. So there will be some live component and we will also have everything uh, yeah, organized on Canvas where everything is easy to find. There will be an online forum to ask questions also asynchronously if you like or prefer. But again, we will also have live office hours for questions and things like that. Um, yeah, I will actually turn off the camera very soon when I talk about the remainder of these topics listed here because I'm using an iPad for this class and it uh, lies flat on my desk. So it won't be very interesting to watch me yeah, taking uh, notes on my iPad because the camera would be just um, pointed towards the top of my head. So I will be switching to the iPad view soon. Um, nonetheless, I think uh, yeah, using an iPad and the annotation feature is actually quite useful to yeah, illustrate some concepts better than just using the slides. So after giving you the course overview here, I will also then later uh, introduce machine learning. Machine learning is not a requirement for this class. Some of you I've already seen based on the class list have taken Statistics 451, which I taught last semester. This was the introduction to machine learning and um, statistical pattern classification. So in this class, we talked more about uh, yeah, traditional methods for machine learning. And I was very careful when I de designed these two courses that there is no overlap. So the other class is um, focused on traditional machine learning. We covered decision trees, random forests, other ensemble methods, gradient boosting, and so forth. In this class, though, we will be entirely focused on um, deep learning and deep neural networks. So there will not be any requirement from the last class for this class. So everything right now um, will be relatively new, except, of course, some overlaps that uh, are concerned with supervised learning, basically that we are interested in classifying things. So that will be the only overlap, but uh, I don't think there will be a disadvantage if you uh, take this class without having taken 451. Um, but yeah, long story short, I will give you a brief overview of what machine learning is in this class uh, and then um, also just outlining how a supervised machine learning workflow looks like, some of the necessary jargon and notation, and then also a little bit about the practical aspects of this course, because there will also be a class project and we will be using PyTorch and uh, doing also some coding in this class. So in this way, there will be conceptual and practical aspects. And I hope that is a good mix uh, yeah, to prepare you for yeah, machine learning uh, projects and deep learning projects, and of course also uh, deep learning in both academia and industry. So in that way, um, let me then switch over to my iPad and get started with uh, the course overview.